This is the biggest vehicle that Wild Axe manufactures. It's also the most luxurious and the most self-sufficient. So it's based on an MAN van. It's 6.84 meters long. It's called the Altair RS. Let's go and have a look inside. But noting on the way, Wild Axe is an NCC approved manufacturer. As is typical of Wild Axe, you've got a, a good degree of flexibility, multi-functionality here in the lounge with this table that sits on a, a leg. Um, so you can have it at this height for the short settee here, and loads of adjustment to it, or you can raise it that bit higher and have it between the two cab seats, maybe for dining or, or whatever. So that's quite flexible really, um, and it's a good sized table as well, so if you do happen to have a couple of extra guests in, they can all dine at the same time. Also in the lounge, you're surrounded by features, um, USB portals here and the main socket, so there's a handy little hook there, um, and then the controls for the Truma are up here. The Truma itself runs on electric and diesel, not gas. Uh, this is a handy pocket as well, and um, the main electric control panel is not far away, just on the bulkhead inside the sliding door. And the key thing about the Altair RS is it's gas-free. It uses a more sophisticated all-electric setup for its main appliances. And central to all this is a three kilowatt inverter and solar paneling, um, capable of processing anything up to 300 watts via the twin lithium measure batteries that are rated at 100 amp hours each. There's also an upgraded battery to battery charger. That means you have 12 volt as well as 230 volt power wherever you go. So you are completely self-sufficient. There's a high level of sophistication in this uh, Altair RS from Wild Axe. Uh, started with the control panel, um, use just a touch control, uh, and then light switches alongside. Uh, there's carbon monoxide alarm up there as well. Um, the Truma control is there, as previously mentioned. And then you can keep an eye on what the solar panels uh, and the lithium batteries are doing via this little section here. There's double main socket here as well. There's carpet underfoot for a little bit of extra luxury, although it is removable, so if you want to leave it at home, you can do. Lots of other good points as well. A wardrobe here, extra storage here. Um, good overall overhead locker storage. The cab has um, shelving overhead as well. Um, a roof light here lets a lot of daylight in. And then you've got obviously the window on this side with concertina blind and fly screen. And then this big sliding door here with fly screen um, over on the near side. Centerpiece of the Altair RS kitchen is this two ring induction hob. Remembering, of course, you've got the solar panels on the roof and the lithium batteries and the inverter, so you're never going to be short of cooking power. Um, talking of which, all that can operate the Dometic microwave oven up here as well. Uh, there's a standard enough sink and there's a worktop extension. There's brilliant storage. All these are drawers. And then in the middle, this section slides out for carrying your vegetables, tins, that sort of thing. Um, lockers overhead as well. And then the fridge here is a big fridge, opens easily for the chef, or if you're in bed, there's easy access this side as well if you just want a can of beer while you're watching telly or something like that. This is the Altair RS's washroom. The tambour door slides back, and then you've got a Dometic swivel bowl toilet. That's the one with the ceramic bowl, of course. Um, and the countertop sink is also ceramic. Um, it has a extending tap, so you can hold it out, bring it out and use it as a shower, in the washroom, of course. Um, the shower tray underneath, that's Wild Axe's own design. And there's storage in terms of a locker up above here. Um, there's a towel holder, there's a double coat hook in here, and a, a fixed rail, which is ideal for hanging your wet clothing, etc. Uh, so a little compact washroom maybe, but um, it's got all the facilities, including a roof light up above. So here at the back, we have two single beds, both over six foot long, um, or you can slide out this section in the middle 
and create a massive double bed. All the comforts are here, lovely thick mattresses. This is the filler for the, the double bed. Uh, ladder for access if you need it. Um, there's good lighting all the way around as well, as well as a big sunroof over here. All the windows are open in fact, and they've all got concertina blinds and fly screens. Um, also handy for the bed, USB sockets on both sides, an on-off switch for the light on one side, and a neat little storage pocket on the other side. I think comfort is guaranteed back here. And the bedroom is where you'll find a lot of the storage in the Altair RS as well. Um, banks of lockers on both sides here. Open shelving at the back end, so that's handy for when you're lying in bed. You just want to put something up just before you go to bed. The beds are set high, and that's because of all the extra storage you get in here in terms of drawers and, and other lockers. Plus, this door here gives you access into the rest of the boot area that you'd otherwise only be able to reach via the uh, rear doors. Now, I've, as you've guessed, everything about the Altair RS is big. So what do you get at the back? This large amount of storage space. Also in here, two lithium batteries rated at 100 amp hour each, um, a regulator for each of the solar panels, and then this 3000 watt inverter. So this really is powered up to take you off grid for as long as you like. This MAN base vehicle really is something special. It's um, superb to drive and it just feels so sure-footed on the road. It's got a build quality behind it as well. This is the 140 brake horsepower engine. Uh, you can get a more powerful one if you want, uh, but you'll find this is perfectly adequate for this size, even for this size of vehicle. Automatic transmission is here. That's an optional extra, but it's a very slick nine speeder or you get six speed manual transmission as standard. Uh, instruments are very clear and you've got a particularly good uh, infotainment system here that includes sat nav and all the usual Bluetooth connectivity. So a fantastic cab to round off a top end luxury van conversion. So there we are, the Altair RS from Wild Axe. This one is really a vehicle to take you anywhere and to live off grid while you're doing so. Absolute luxury, 6.84 meters long in a van conversion, but if that's what you want for two people, it's right here.